Well, it's happened. I finally got this in the mail today uh, from FedEx, from Stargazer. This is the 13.5 inch razor. It's an unboxing and a legit unboxing. It's sealed. You can see here, we're all sealed up. So I'm gonna unbox it as is from Stargazer and I'll blow a look at it. I've got a couple of the, uh, the other old fry pans here. We've got the 10 and a half inch um, and 12 inch. I'm using these ones basically daily, especially this little 10 and a half. So I've got them out here, not to review them, which I think I will, because I've used them enough, but I want you to be able to compare them because if you're a stargazer person like me, then you can go, okay, how does that compare to this? So let's do this. So get this out here. here. We'll toss that. So now we're in the uh, in the plastic wrap here. So it's been tied off with a plastic band. Pull that out. I ordered the uh, pre-seasoned one. So the metal isn't left in white. That's what it's called. That's how my British friends say it. If it's like raw bare metal untreated it's called le being left in white. So here, Gandhi, uh, you got the old Stargazer cast iron um, sticker, so you can advertise for Stargazer. <laughs> no, thank you. Um, so there's got that. We've got some instructions here, um, how to cook and clean, which I think we've all gotten with our other stuff. But let's get some hands on this thing. Wow, it's, uh, it's deeper deeper than the 12 inch, that's for sure. Smooth as per usual. Uh, fit and finish, I'm not really gonna critique too much here because I'm not an expert, like the people at Stargazer would be. Um, that's what it looks like on the bottom, 13 and a half inch or 34.3 centimeters. And apparently the gentleman that um, is uh, in charge of Stargazer, uh, really, really, um, is a detailed oriented person, um, which I, I think is great. So I'll give you a little, little bit of a peek here. Yeah, I, I, I'm gonna obviously wash this and dry it properly, and then I'm gonna season it, and I think I'm gonna do some chicken thighs in it. I love doing chicken thighs and um, potatoes. The one thing I like about this, and now we're gonna do a little bit of comparison. This is a 12 inch skeleton. So you can see how it fits in there quite easily. I'll flip them over. There's a 12 inch. And then there's the 10 and a half, right? So it just dwarfs it. So there's the 10 and a half beside it. And that's, this guy's obviously had some cooking done on it, but um, what I would like to do is be able to use this, kind of looks like a little, little blemish, but actually a, a little bit of an excavation here from the casting. I doubt it's gonna affect things much, but, um, so what I'd like to do is when I cook is to be able to like space it out so that it's not so tight. and. The 12 inch here is nice, but if you're putting like a bunch of chicken thighs in here, sometimes you want to space them out so they're they're baking and not really like steaming, if, if you know what I mean. So yeah, this is it. I will do another comparison here, right here. So there's your 10 and a half sitting inside of it. Um, 10 and a half up against it. So you can see how much higher this is. I'd say it's about half inch higher. And obviously it needs some seasoning. Still really smooth in here. It's got some texture. It's actually a little rougher than, than the, uh, the other Stargazers, but maybe that'll just come off in time or, I don't know, not too, too critical of it. 
But loving this. Uh, I'm looking forward to doing some roasting in it. Um, I'm a home cook, so I'm not really much of a uh, snob when it comes to this sort of thing, other than I think you get what you pay for. And I remember I was down in the, uh, I'll put this here too while I'm talking. I was down in the, uh, in Nassau in the Bahamas and I was cooking with just a kind of a cheap cast iron fry pan. And I was thinking about my 10 and a half when I was cooking. I was like, this is so smooth. And the other one in the Bahamas wasn't, it was, you know, kind of a pebbled finish. So hence, this is my third um, stargazer. I'm not gonna whine or bitch that there's no lid. I could care less if there's a lid actually. And I hope any whiners about lids can just uh, get bent. Um, you, you want a lid, go, go buy one, okay? Stargazer doesn't have lids right now, drop it, okay? It's okay that they don't have lids. They got some really nice artisan grade cookware here and um, I'm excited to use it. I'm excited to clean it up, get seasoned and just get rolling with it. Um, another comparison here. This is, is a quite a bit deeper um, and I'm not sure what it'll be like to flip out of, but we'll see. I'll maybe grab a, I'll grab a, a fish spatula and we'll see. So fish spatula in here still be able to to get in here like but you're limited to kind of in here right you can still kind of get something up i mean obviously when you get into the the 12 you're a little bit better and then you know you're just a little shallower right so a different tool for different jobs but overall the old oxo fist spatula actually just fits right across almost the entire length of it so yeah, that's all I really have to say. I've got one. I'm glad to have it. I was actually going to cancel this order, and I thought, no, the heck with it. You know what? I can treat this like a redheaded stepchild. I can leave it on a fire somewhere. I can roast with it on my barbecue. I, I'm just going to grab it because I hope I hope this company is alive and well for years to come, but you never know. So I, I got it, and so far, I'm thinking this is going to be a winner. I mean... This has been a winner, so why wouldn't this be a winner? Uh, so, yeah, that's it. Okay, thank you for listening to me go on and on. But I hope that I appease some of you people that are, you know, Stargazer fans and that you can get a first look at this thing. And you don't have to listen to Jed at Cook Culture kind of critique how it's not a brazier or whatever. I don't care. It's a cooking vessel. And um, it's, it's got the nice lip on there for pouring, which I've used on the other pans, pouring grease out. Um, I think it's great with the, the handle here. I can easily kind of control it or, you know, do this and, and, and pour forward. Um, that's usually where I pour, but you could also get away with one of these. Um, yeah, this is gonna be this is gonna be on the table with a trivet under it and keeping things warm and lots of memories with friends and family. And really that's all, that's all it's about. Um, thank you to Stargazer for making such a great piece of cookware. And uh, the finish, I'll say with this and with this, uh, you're gonna have to work for the finish. Don't whine and bitch about the, you can't get it to season properly, just use it. Um, don't use uh, flaxseed oil flaxseed oil um, chips and it discolors and it's not not good at all go with something else anything else not flaxseed oil um, and I'll maybe review these pans now that I've had them for about a year so without further ado thank you for watching my humble video and listening to a real guy talk in real language about a real pan and um, something that I think will get hopefully passed down to somebody or after I'm gone, we'll be at a at a, a garage sale, you know? And they'll be like, where did this come from? Oh, that was that old guy that had this, you know? And I'm going to love it, and I'm going to use it and abuse it. And um, I'm just going to get cooking is what I'm going to do. So there you go. Thank you very much for watching. And I will review this later. See you in the next video.